Welcome back. Experts say many of the issues that prevent you from reaching your goals, be it professional, personal, or financial, are stumbling blocks that you've put in your own way. Our next guest says learning to spot and tackle those barriers ahead of time will save you time in the long run. Welcome to author and speaker David Ubita. Did I say that correctly? Absolutely. All right, very good, David. First of all, you and I were chatting a little bit. Not only do you go out and speak to other people and you do leadership coaching, but some people may call you motivational coach, but you don't really like that word, motivational. Right? Why? Well, I would define motivation as sugar. Okay. It's a rush. There's a peak and then there's a decline, and no change has really taken place. So you can get emotional, you can attend a seminar, you can attend a, a specific uh, speech or whatnot, but there's really no change. So as far as I'm concerned, my purpose, my mission is to inspire, and one of the ways I do that is really to get in your face mm -hmm. and to challenge you mm -hmm. and to piss you off so that that way you're, you're inspired and moved to change, to bring about change in your life. And you say you talk to a lot of CEOs and leaders who've reached their goals, but why do they need your help? They've reached their goal. Micah, that's such a great question. What I've discovered is that most leaders are high performers, elite performers, they get bored. Once they've, let's say they've hit the 100 million mark in a year, well then now what? What do, what do I do? I've already got all the money that I can have. I already got all the toys. What do I do now? And so in many of those cases, they're looking for significance. They're looking for, for, for legacy at that point. And you so, cite Donald Trump for that. Donald Trump, yeah. that was a great point that you made earlier. Donald Trump has you know, made billions of dollars, has, ha, is a world-renowned face, and now he's like, well, what do I do next? Let me go ahead and try to tackle the political arena. Mm -hmm. I've never done that before. Let me go ahead and try. And as you can see, everything's unfolding before our very eyes. Yeah. Now, you've written a book that talks about five ways, really, once you've gotten stuck, how to yeah. get out of that stickiness. Yeah. Let's talk about your first one, your first way to do it. First one is intentional vision. Most people think that vision has to do with what you see. But we have this amazing superpower. When I was a kid, I used to watch the, the Super Friends mm -hmm. on Saturday morning with my bowl of cereal and ready mm -hmm. to just chow down. And I was so jealous and envious of them. They all have superpowers. And I realized, wait a minute, I have a superpower, my imagination. And so I can literally, regardless of where I'm at, can take my current position and actually change it the moment I engage my imagination, just like a superpower would do. Superpowers are designed to change situations. Our imagination can do the same thing. Number two. Intentional faith. I'll never forget what my dad said, man, I didn't know that faith was intentional. Yeah, hmm. faith is a skill. It's, it's yeah. something you develop. You're, you're, you're not just born with faith. Right. faith. Someone instills that in you. It's instilled in mm -hmm. you. You can develop it over time. Trust me, when you're going through an adverse situation, your faith increases. Exactly, exactly. Number three. Intentional growth. Whereas most people in society, you know, the average age or the average educational uh, grade in America is about fifth grade. Mm -hmm. So most of us are just functionally literate, just knowing enough to get by. But intentional growth is a commitment to continually, daily evolve and grow yourself as an individual. Keep reading, keep learning. Keep, keep reading, keep people. grinding, keep, yeah. keep learning. Yeah, mm -hmm. don't, don't be stagnant. Don't be stagnant. Okay. Don't be settled with the status quo, uh, 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 quo which is fifth grade. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. What's the next one? Intentional failure, which is my favorite concept out of all of them. And most people look at me like, what the heck are you talking about, right? Exactly. So the reality is intentional failure has turned out to be one of my favorite principles in the entire book. In 2014, I actually trained for a bodybuilding contest, a natural bodybuilding contest. One of the things I realized is that in bodybuilding, the number one objective when you train is to fail, hmm. is for the muscle to fail, to take it to failure for the purpose of building growth. It back up. Mm -hmm. Because it takes on a new identity, it takes on a new capacity, new strength. So it dawned on me, is that possible psychologically, where we go ahead and continue to put ourselves in positions that take us out of our comfort zones could we actually grow and take on a different idea, become a stronger person as a result? The answer is absolutely. Okay, and this is the last one or the fourth? The last one, last number one. five, yeah. is intentional resilience. You know, the, the, human, the human condition has survived and has been resilient through so many different catastrophic events. And what happens is that when we are put in that position where every single one of these principles that I just mentioned, like mm -hmm. our faith and growth and, and failure is challenged, that is when we have to decide that I'm going to be resilient and I'm going to see this thing through. I'm gonna finish what I start. And the book obviously will tell, tells you how to do that, right? Absolutely, yeah, yeah, yeah. absolutely. The book is designed, what I, the whole point behind the book, especially when you're in a holding pattern mm -hmm. or when you feel stuck, is to help you find clarity. And when you practice these specific 
disciplines, you'll find that clarity to help you go to that next level. And, and these can be used throughout your life, not just for that one person point when you're stuck, because you're going to get stuck again probably, Absolutely. Right? So you can do them over and over and over again, huh? Yes, these, these disciplines, these skills that we mm -hmm. develop, it's a lifelong commitment. I mean, think about it. Problems will never end. Right. Challenges will never end. If you've got a pulse, you're going to have a problem yeah. at some point. Yeah. And so that being the case, why not equip ourselves to leveraging these five disciplines to help us get through them? Now, is there a certain age that you can do this? Or if this is like for any age to do yeah, this? Yeah, absolutely. Even for kids? Like yeah, absolutely. Okay. Absolutely. Okay. My children, in fact, one of them, especially intentional vision, if you were to go into their bathroom, they have a cork board and they specifically have pictures of things that they want to see in their life. Mm -hmm. My daughter has an A plus for math is one yeah. of the things she's tabbing there. So you there. should put that up there visually. Absolutely. So you you, you are intentionally practice, practicing your vision. To attain that. Okay. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much, David. Thank you. Get his book. If you're stuck, especially. <laughs> Still ahead. Meet a mom who's showing us how to celebrate our differences.